AECOM is poised for significant growth in its construction business. With an established global footprint, the company now has enhanced capabilities to serve a broader client base. Dan McQuaid is the president of AECOM's Building Construction Group. We've seen a lot of enthusiasm, you know, as, as people just innately recognize the opportunity this will create for all of us. The Building Construction Group's operations stretch around the globe, with a strong footprint in North America and a growing business in Europe, the Middle East, and Africa. The group includes Tishman Construction and Hunt Construction Group, which were both acquired by AECOM. It also includes EMEA Construction Services and the North America Program Management Teams. Today, building construction is well known for iconic projects, such as the World Trade Center, Abu Dhabi's Midfield Terminal, and the new Atlanta Falcons Stadium. Dan adds that URS's construction expertise, which is now part of the Energy, Infrastructure, and Industrial Construction Group, provides even greater opportunities for AECOM across key markets. When you bring in George Nash's group, the EIC group, um, it's a perfect complement, right? Because they are strong in North America, they're strong in infrastructure, they're strong in energy, they're strong in industrial. So you take that strength. So to me, it just sort of speeds up our plan by years because now, boom, we have a large EPC company and, and then you add that to the global platform and the financial strength of AECOM and it's limitless what we can do. You know, the, the financial ability of AECOM as a Fortune 200 company is a hugely important part as clients and people who are financing these projects look at who's going to build them, right? I mean, they want to see a partner as strong as they are financially. Um, so I think that that's a hugely important part of why we're going to be successful. The ability to apply a full suite of construction services to serve multinational clients also sets AECOM apart in the industry. So we, we had a meeting a couple of years ago with GE where they explained to us, you know, we want partners who can go to 70% of the geographies we need to build in. We want partners who can do 70% or more of the project types uh, that we have. Dan notes that integration will require a strategic approach in order to be successful. It will also require time and collaboration. But I feel like we just have a great opportunity here, uh, both individually and collectively, to build an organization that you know will be a powerhouse in our industry, uh, that will have the global reach and the level of services across you know design and build and finance and operate um, like nothing we've ever seen before.